What is going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to iFish Fresh and Salty. I got my boy Gene behind the camera and we are on Captain Paul's boat. What's up boys? <laughs> there we go man. So we are passing the famous jetty out here guys in Half Moon Bay. Technically we're going out. I got my grunnins on so we don't get dirty. Gene's also in his, in his gear. We're going to be pulling up crab pots. If you guys watched the last episode, we dropped 13 of them. We're after easy limits, guys. We're after for some jumbo whoppers. We're gonna bring back, we're gonna uh, clean them up on the boat, bring them back to the house. Let's see how today goes out for our guys. guys so we are getting to our first pot and we got gene with the, the scooper yeah let's do this so our Number first one. our first buoy is right there guys did you scoop On this crab pull here, guys. Let me move out of the way. Change back up. And then what we, we like to do, like what I just did, just throw it out, start feeding out, feeding out the line, just like that. And we got about 240 feet uh, of rope right now. Let's go, Jack. So today our, our swells are eight feet every 11 seconds. It's ideal, but sometimes it's not ideal, but enough to pull up crab pots, it'll be good. So there you go, first pot. I don't know, it looks like about maybe 10. About one, two, Four, five, nine. Nine, and I see a female. So perfect, perfect example. I'm gonna sit down right here. So beautiful size Dungeness crab right here, guys. Right here. The, the narrow it is, it's a male. Okay. The I'm gonna show you a female, and the apron's gonna be a lot wider, and she has eggs right now. So let's check her out. Okay, perfect example. That's a lot of Dungeness crabs right there, guys. So that's a female, if you guys can notice, that's a wider apron right there. And she's holding her eggs. So we don't like to keep females. You can't keep females out here, um, but we like to throw them back so they can produce more Dungeness crabs for us. So we'll throw them back. Let's throw her back. Jack. Down she goes, guys. So after we're done uh, taking the crabs out, we have one of the members of Captain Paul, he's just filling it up, back with uh, car uh, carcasses, the, the bait jar, get a nice fresh set, put them back. We actually leave our crab pots uh, out here in the ocean, guys. We are sport fishermen, We're doing, we don't do commercial fishing, we're just out here having a good time and eating some good dinners. Um, so we just throw them back into the water, and yes, there is a risk of losing them, somebody stealing them, but like I said, you just drop them back in. We'll come back another day when it's perfect time for pulling up crab pots. So that's the beauty about it. We leave ours here and we come back whenever we want some food. It's pretty cool. This crab gauge is five and three quarters because that's the legal size. You got to do it from that end to this end. As you notice, it beats it legal size. So make sure you guys always have this uh, with you guys. Up. So first pot guys, huge success. Nine keeper Dungeness crab. There you go. We're gonna keep 30, 10, 10, and 10. We gotta keep 10 Dungeness crab um, 10, 10. per per day per person. So 
Let's do this. All right, we're pulling up to number two, crop pot number two. Let's check it out. Well, there it is. Get it, get it, get it. So what you guys want to do, just put it on this ace line hauler, pull it up on top, do it like that. Watch Ernie and pull, guys. Turn, turn it on. Here we go. Yeah, so it's pretty cool that how this ace line hauler works. Let's get a little. This goes like that, right? Oh, actually, so pretty. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that goes out. So it's just an assistance. Uh, obviously, this heavy line, the crab pot weighs a lot. The ocean water weighs a lot. Obviously, the crabs that are inside. So it's just an assistance and doing it all with muscle. Just helps you out. Here it comes. Use color. I'll turn off the. Pot number two. Woo! Nice one, guys. Yes, we got. I don't even know. Maybe another nine. Crabs on deck. Yeah. That's what we like to see, guys. Crabs on deck. When I say crabs on deck, that's exactly what it is. Critters. I mean, check this out. Say jumbo, freaking jumbo. I'm talking about jumbo, jumbo guys. Jumbo Jack. Seven and a half inches, maybe. Those are eggs. Look at that, guys. We got another fish out here. Millions and millions of eggs. Like I said, we like to throw those back, just like how he's doing right now. Look at those claws, guys. Don't you want that? Hit the big thumbs up. Like this, guys. You guys want this? We're picking up two pots. So technically, when opening day happened, that was last, or maybe two weekends ago now. But last week when we came out, obviously, yeah, our crop pots are fully loaded. But we do come out, or if I don't come out, Paul or and Jamie or Gene or Mike, other people obviously come out and clean out pots. Obviously, off camera, guys. So if you see them like this. Yeah, it's still good yields, but we're coming out maybe twice, three times a week, or maybe just one time a week, and you know, going through one through 13 of crab pots. That's why they're, you know, they're still still a good amount, but just wanted to let you guys know. Right here, buddy. All right, guys, pot number two, down to the ocean floor. All right, so while we're moving to pot number three, guys, I uh, do want to do a little you know update on how we do it once again how we do it and it works pretty great so we have we have the dead carcasses in here that go in the center of the crab pots and then we already have uh the bait jars already ready to go so we take the we take the the old ones out throw the bait back into the ocean water so the crabs can feed on the bottom of the ocean put these guys on fresh bait and that's how we just keep doing that cycle. So that's what we do, guys. Works out pretty great. Make sure you guys save your guys' carcasses. Put them in your chest freezer and uh, save money on that. You know, it helps out, especially since we're not commercial fishing. We're sport fishing just for fun. And uh, there you go. The reason why all of these birds, if you guys can see, we're working here, but they're also working the system. Here's our old bait. Look at all them. <laughs> We're on pot number three. Just feeding out that line. Pot number three. We got not as good. Not as good, but Still take them. Sorry about that one. I got it. Oh shit! Coming up! There it is. Number four. That is, that's going to be it, guys. Yeah. Dump them all out. 
it. We're gonna grab four of them. And then the rest of them, we're just gonna put them back into the ocean floor, rebait our cage and off to the next trip. Whenever we come back out, guys. Sweet, four pots, 30 dungies. What else, what else more can we ask for? Blessed guys, super, super blessed. All right, what's up guys? We just got back to the dock and the cleaning station. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna whoop these guys out. So Paul, check this out. This is our 10, well, 10 including this guy, our dungeon is crab guys. This is exactly what I'm gonna be doing to all of them. So I'm gonna show you really quick. And uh, all of these guys have already been dispatched. Uh, pretty much just take them out with the knife through their face and uh, calm them down a little bit. But let me go ahead and show you guys how to clean it. Just go ahead and take the uh, take the apron, rip it out like that, guys. And then the top of the shell, the bottom of the shell, or the where is uh, the carapace is at. Go ahead and put pressure, just like that. Put that aside. And there's his face right there, guys. Just go ahead and uh, knock his face out. Just go back and forth, rocking it, just like that. Same thing with the other side, just like that. Oh, his little claw came off, it's all right. Put that in the pot and just rock back the, uh, the middle of it here. Now that you have, have it at this stage, go back and forth, just like that. And then go ahead and just shake it off any excess of that butter. Those are those dead man fingers. This is their actual gills right here. Just go ahead and take them off as well. You're just cleaning them up a little bit. Just like that. Get this out of here. And same thing with this guy. Shake off that butter. Take that off. Couple of those uh, gills. And that's gonna do a nice wrap. Go ahead and give it a nice, nice thorough rinse. And there you go, guys. Nice, clean, ready to go in the steamer or in the bowling pot, guys. I'll see you guys back at the house. Welcome back to the house, guys. And we're gonna be doing similar like last weekend, like what we did, we did a crab boil. This time we're gonna do like a Cajun um louisiana steamed pretty much seafood platter so technically we got obviously our fresh dungeness crab there guys check that out everything's super clean as you saw earlier we um i cleaned it out at the dock and we got fresh corn in the cobs we got cajun style ang uh, anguis and I'm not too sure how you pronounce that but those are sausages we got garlic lemon onion shrimp already ready to go this is already uh peeled as well red potatoes so we have everything ready to rock and roll guys i got my water so since, since we are going to be steaming it um i'm just going to go ahead and put uh put these garlics on in there onions And I'm just gonna squeeze a couple of these and I'm gonna put the rest uh, whole, just like that. Just squeeze a couple of them just to give, just to give the actual juice. The steam's gonna take all the uh, citrus out eventually, but just one more and the rest of them whole like that. And main ingredient for today, everything we're gonna be putting on is Old Bay only. So as well as the steam water, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Go ahead and put them in there. Give them a nice little mixture. And put the steam platter on there, all the way down. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back up to a boil about five, eight minutes. Next going in, steamer's nice and uh, nice and boiled. Let's go ahead and add the red potatoes, guys. Okay, it's not steaming up. We're gonna add the potatoes. But before we add another ingredient, 
Let's go ahead and put a nice little layer of Old Bay because that's what our main ingredient is here today. We're gonna do some corns. Corn in the cobs. Corn in the cobs. And another little layer of Old Bay. And then our fresh Dungeness crab. Add these guys. They're already nice and cleaned. Layer of Old Bay. And we'll let this go for about uh, 10, 12 minutes. Go ahead and add uh, the shrimp, guys. Nice, look at that. Give them a nice mix there. And I'm gonna add Old Bay, of course. This whole thing's all about this Old Bay, so. And the Cajun style andouille sausages, guys. Off. A little bit more. About it. Then I'm going to add the rest of the crab. Kind of give them a little push down. Just like that, guys. Now we're going to go for another five, eight minutes and it should be ready to rock and roll. Alright, guys, been in here about about 10 minutes. I let it go a little bit more than I, than I wanted to. And perfect guys, check that out. We got that nice boil down below, steaming, shrimps look they're done, sausages. Let's go ahead and bring this inside guys. We made it to the table guys and check this out nice seasoned Dungeness crab um, so this is the cluster guys if you guys didn't know so technically this part right here is a cluster of the of the crab you got the leg and obviously you got the claw right there you got the corn and the cob red potatoes sausage and the shrimp let's go and taste it Old Bay, that's all you need. Super good. I actually never had had, it's just called, <clears throat> the package was Cajun style and dewy sausages. So anywhere you guys pick them up at your local local uh, supermarket, really good flavor, Cajun style flavor. And red potato, super hot. I didn't add any salt, nothing. Obviously, whatever I steamed it with, all that flavor got evaporated inside this food. So, there's a cluster right there, guys. Nice white meat of the crab. This is how I eat it. So you have the cluster right there. And also, too, how I, you could use a little crab, crab little tool here to take it apart. I use my teeth, so check this out. And then 
you open it up and you get that magical piece of Dungeon's Crab. I know it's probably bad for your teeth, but... No words. So good. Corn, let's check, check this out. Juicy, Old Bay seasoning, I'm telling you, that's all you need. Everything on here, as you guys saw, was on top of that. I'm gonna go ahead and dig down. We have a lot, a lot more to go. Interview a couple people. I want to see you guys in a little bit. We have Mason's first runner up. Tell us about the build today, man. Uh, it was delicious. It was super messy, but super tasty. It was, uh, it was delicious. I loved it. I love, I love crab. Nice. <laughs> and Vanessa. Why are you gonna do this time? It's heck of good. Um, once again, well done. A little bit different this time, more Cajun flavor. Um, to be honest, I like the other one better, but this one's good, very different. Uh, had, <coughs> excuse me. Not too spicy, but the flavor is there. Um, I love corn, I'm on my third corn. <laughs> very tasty, buttery. Um, once again, no seafood taste. I don't like seafood taste. And for me to eat this is, takes a lot. <laughs> Nice. Mm -hmm. So these guys always like to be interviewing after we're done eating. Nobody else likes to be interviewed just, just because. So anyways, guys, once again, thanks, Paul, for inviting me out, man. Quick limits, guys. Four pots, 30 crabs. I mean, what else more you can ask for? One of the most expensive bottom species of the earth ocean floor actually has to offer. So make a nice meal for my family. And sorry if you guys haven't noticed, I, I don't know what's wrong with my voice, like losing it. <laughs> I'm sure I'm getting sick, but anyways, guys, I got a Dutch apple pie going on in right now for dessert. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. Later guys. <laughs>